Hi, Nicola Ascom here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's question is one emailed me in recently, but I'll be honest, it's one I've been asked many times over the years, which is how does the data and analytics team fit within data governance? So the person who sent me in this question was uh, worried that um, you know they should have data governance roles. So should they be part of the bigger data governance team or data governance office, if that's what you call yours? Now, as far as I'm concerned, your data and analytics teams are going to be really good allies while you're trying to design and implement data governance, but they don't have a key data governance role to play. They don't own data, they're not data stewards. But if you think about it, they are really keen consumers of data. Um, and you could also consider them big producers of data because sometimes they are asked to produce a report which is just, you know, tell us this and it's just the raw data being presented in a, a report format. But quite often when you get onto the more advanced analytics and, and data science, um, they are producing data, new insights from the existing data. So. I think it's very much important to consider them key stakeholders. They're going to be really good allies. They're going to help you um, decide perhaps which is the most important data. They're going to perhaps tell you the data quality horror stories they're aware of, but they don't have a role in your data governance team. They're just really good allies. I hope that's been useful. And don't forget, if you have any questions you'd like me to answer, just email them into questions at nicolaascom.com.